Now that we have our island working in the vicious engine, we're ready to create some things that we can actually put on the island. So I've opened 3D Studio Max again, and I want to create a rigid body object. That is something that we can interact with on our island. So I'm going to click on the box under the Create tab and draw a little box on the screen. I'm going to change the length to 2 meters, the width to 2 meters, and the height to 2 meters. And so it's pretty small. I'm going to click on the Transform tool and change the X to 0, the Y to 0, and the Z to 0 to put it in the center. And then I'm going to click on the Zoom Extents All icon, which will zoom in in all our views. And then click on the magnifying glass and just zoom out just a little bit so I have a nice view from all the different views. And then with the selection tool selected and the modify tab open, we're going to change the name of it from box01 to rb underscore cube underscore stone because we're going to put a stone material on it. Why we have it selected, let's go ahead and add a material to it. So I'm going to press the M key. And on the first material slot, click on that and then the standard button. I'm going to double click the E material. And then under materials, I'm going to go down to O Dynamic Stone. That's the same one we'd used on the island. And set the surface to S room collision so it collides with the room and our main character. And I'm going to drag that and drop it onto my object. And close the material editor. Now we need to get a dynamic mesh root assigned to this. So I'm going to go to the utilities tab and click on the E exporter. Open the exporter. And where it says dynamic mesh roots, I'm going to right click on there and say add dynamic mesh root. And you can see the little white dot is the dynamic mesh root, and the little blue circles are its bounding radius. And I'm going to go ahead and close that. And while I have it open, I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. I'll call this DYN, because it's our, dyna our dynamic mesh root, underscore cube, underscore stone. So it has the same name as what we're going to bind it to. And I'm going to click on the Modify tab, with that still selected. And the bounding radius is going to be, let's try 2. That's the same size, same dimensions we gave the cube. And you can see it made it a lot bigger. And you can see, especially in the top view, how big it is compared to our cube. And we want it actually to be just big enough to cover it up. So let's use 1.5. And you can see that fits it a lot better. Now in our left view and our front view, you can see that it's still too low. So I'm going to click on the transform tool. And we can either just drag it up or I'm going to change the Z value to 1 to raise it up 1 meter. And now you can see in all four views that our bounding radius covers up our 3D object. So now we need to link those two things together. So I'm going to click on the select tool. And I'm going to make sure I have the not the mesh root selected, but actually the RB cube stone. That's our visible geometry. And then I'm going to click on the link icon and then the select by name and choose dynamic, dynamic cube stone and click link. So that links those two things together. If we go to the utilities tab and click on open exporter you can see the dynamic cube stone there. Click on the little plus sign under nodes, and there it is again. So the, we have them linked together. And now we need to make a collider as well. So on this second dynamic cube stone, I'm going to right click on it and say create collider. And it gives me the extension mc underscore, and we're going to add physics to that. So we have mc underscore physics. Click OK. And now you can see these yellow circles also. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And why we have MC Physics selected, I'm going to click on the Modify tab. And we don't want to change the radius and stuff because with the collider we can actually change the shape. 
So let's change the shape to be a box so that it has the same shape as the visible geometry. And now set the dimensions and we'll make them 2 meters by 2 meters by 2 meters because that's what the cube is. And now our visible geometry has the same dimensions as our collider. And I need to give it a surface. So I'm going to click down on the surface and go down to S Room Collision. So let's go back to the Utilities tab, open the exporter again, right click on Dynamic Cube Stone at the top and say Export. And now you can see it exported correctly. Let's go ahead and close this. Close this. And now we've created a rigid body object that we can use on our island. 